division in Afeni Ferry as Adebanjo DS Tinumbu and Ushoba to publicly declare stand on restructuring. Break bath over division in Afeni Ferry just expanded as one of the leaders of the influential Yoruba young man chief Ayo Adebanjo he accused of masterminding the division by former governor of Ogun State, Aremo Olusegun Oshoba, gives a reply. The former governor also denied Adebanjo's charge that he sold out on the issue of restructuring which Afeni Ferry owed so dear in line with the philosophy of the late Yoruba leader, Chief Obafemi Awolowo. Oshoba narrated how Adebanjo had opposed virtually everything he represented politically. It was a day of mourning as somebody who fought for independence and looking at how far we have gone 60 years after, we should be mourning. We are not where we should be today. The constitution that brought us together has been abandoned by the military and that is why we are where we are today. There is nothing strange about restructuring. Restructuring is not a political philosophy. All we are seeing and saying is to structure the country back to federalism. It, has, it was because of federalism that the late chief Awolowo fought for this country and we achieved it in 1954 when he went to the Lagos, when he went to the London Constitutional Conference. It was that constitution that gave us autonomy in form of, in form of prem premiumship in the western region until we got independence on the same basis. It was the military that changed it in 1966. And that has brought a lot of conf conflicts. Even the question of uh, even the question of revenue allocations. People don't understand that it agendas a lot of conflicts presently. South South people are talking about resource control. There is nothing called resource control. What they should be talking about is revenue allocation of the basis of derivation which we achieved in 1954. I will warn them about it even before independence. He told them that James Addison his constitution or Wilson constitution would never work in a multilingual, multi ethnic, and multicultural society like ours. And when they went to London Constitutional Conference, Awolowo he stated that, and that got the late Dr. Nambi Azikiwe to say federalism was imperative. It was on that note that we got independence. Even after independence, the regions were comp competitive, competitive. All the things we achieved in the Western region today were achieved under self-government led by Chief Awolowo. That was the time we had the first television station in Africa, the tallest building in Africa. Awolowo built Liberty Stadium. Muhammadu Belo built Amadu Belo Stadium. Since then, what have we achieved as a nation? All those achievements were made possible because of the autonomy we had. All the achievements you have read about Awolowo on free education, free health service. There's no record that Awolowo had to go to Tafok Balewa as Prime Minister to subsidy, to subsidy sorry, because of revenue allocation. Imagine. If we have continued to develop on that basis, if there had been no interruption by the military, which was the ban of our drawn back, the military intervention was where we missed it. Even the corruption that they are talking about, it was the military that Etienne hate. We only returned to civ civilians rule, not democracy. It was from that time Till now that I am crossed with this gentleman, Oshoba, 
Tinumbu and Co. When we were supposed to go back to democracy, the Afeni Ferry leading the National Democratic Coalition, the political movement used to fight the Abacha military dictatorship, called for the Sovereign Nation Conference. But many could not understand what that means because when you ask those in government now, they will say that you are asking us to go back to the drawing board or going back to the constitution which united us. Up to now, I challenge President Momodou Buhari to say this. In 19, 19, 1999 constitution is our constitution. That is why I opposed it whenever they say that the National Assembly is amending the constitution we did not make. How can you amend, amend a constitution we are criticizing? That is why we are calling for a sovereign na national conference so as to go back to the constitution we had before. We don't want to go back by force. Let's be together again and agree on how to stay together in a constitutional matter. Remember when the former president, Olusha Gombasodjo, came into office and we raised the issue and he said that there could be no two sovereignties. And I told him that we were not talking about the sovereignty of an incumbent, incumbent president, but the sovereignty of that body to give us a new constitution such that any decision we make will be subject to any amendment, but will be subject, will not be subject to any amendment, but will be subject to referendum. That is the sovereignty we are talking about today, but they pretend that they won't, they don't know what you're saying. They think that we are fools. How did they oppose the 1999 constitution on us? The National Assembly is a product of what we are criticizing today. All the provisions of what constitution were made by the military, and that is why I said that we should challenge it. In 2014 Constitutional Conference report, is the most representative things that the governor has to get till date. When former President Jonathan was handing over to President Momodou Buhari, he said it that it was the most important document he was handing over to him. But President Momodou Buhari said, I have nothing to do with it. And he left it in the archives. That is why we are in trouble today. And I said that if you are not going to work on the 2014 Constitutional Conference Report. Gather all the recommendations of the previous Constitutional Conferences within three months. Go through them and do a referendum. So, where is the report? Do you know that Afeni Ferry supported Buari in 2007 when he said that he was going to restructure? He said that it several times. He said it several times and I challenged Feng additional the president's spokesman to fault me on it. And when he was contesting with Pastor Bakari as running mate in 2011, restructuring was there in the agenda. Even under this constitution, General Alini said that, said recently that the number one item on their list is restructuring. Whenever this is an whenever there is an election, they pretend deceiving the people like they are doing something but they are not doing anything restructuring can can't be fruitful going through the national assembly that is any homogeneous salaries they are just deceiving themselves how can you do the constitutional conference of a country on the ground that is why i said that awolowo is the father of true federalism thank you my viewers for listening to this news. Viewers, what is your take on signing what you have just heard concerning Nigerian constitutions and restructuring the country? The comment concerning this news is very much important. Kindly drop them below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive updates whenever I publish any new videos. Thank you.